All right, guys, welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Warband. And uh, this is going to be, this video in particular, is going to be the resuming of starting your own faction. Um, we tried it earlier in the series, and uh, you guys can still use that video for reference if you like, if, if this is what you're looking into, is creating your own faction. But this is what the majority of this video is going to be about, not to say that it isn't going to be just basic common warband. Uh, gameplay, but there will be quite a few tips in there for you guys And I'm gonna show you down the row one at a time like a check checklist visually what we need to do so What we want to do is we want to separate into our own faction right now. We're serving under the Swadians Under this file. I picked the Swadians. It's been quite a while. So it's quite a rainbow of faction colors right now Swadian is the red named ones so as you guys can very well see there's not much of that left they've actually lost most of their faction now to a variety of different factions the two being the most uh, aggravating I guess for the Swadians in this run were the Rodox which have taken most of their property which is anything in the middle of the map guys so they've taken Durham, Suno, Proven and uh, the Syranids have uh, stuck their hand in just about everybody's cookie jar. They've got they've got territory almost everywhere. Vegers are doing really well, but that's all beside the point, guys. That's not the point today. The point the point is to try to give you guys a tutorial on starting your own faction. Now, as you guys can see, we're kind of parked beside this Nordic cap or castle right now, and uh, my crazy thoughts are after we leave this faction we need to go speak to the king we may come back to this castle it's one of the few i've been scouting because we're going to need to siege a castle not necessarily immediately but it would probably behoove me for this video to siege a castle immediately so we're going to go try to find the king we are at war with a couple of factions right now so we're going to have to be a little careful running around um so he could be out on the field as well, kind of kind of running around. Um, we'll check this castle here. It's like one of the four left that they have. Let's see, is he in here? No, he is not, but let's go ask Count Regis um, where he is. He'll tell us whereabouts the king is. Could be in prison right now, which would just totally blow this video out of the water. Let's hope that's not the case. All right, good to see you. Yep, blah, blah. Okay, um, who do you think? Okay, so Marshall's up for grab. That's kind of like the person who picks what everybody, what all the lords do, uh, reigning underneath what have you, king. But uh, we want to ask him a question. We want to know where somebody is. We want to know where the king is. King is at Rindy Castle right now. So, boys and girls, that's where we're going to head right now. Rindy Castle. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, guys. Kind of getting over a little sinus weather change crap. Um, so bear with me with that. Let's see, Rindy. Let's go ahead and zoom out. I think it's over. Let, let, let me flip the map so it's actually familiar to me, guys. This way. There we go. There's Rindy. We'll head over that way <clears throat> with a little bit of... Oh, God. It's under siege. I was going to say, with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to uh, speak to the king. You know what? I mean, in a time of war and everything, you, you guys don't even know all of the effort I've put in for this faction to keep their head above water. I've bestowed and bestowed upon them plenty of towns, castles, and, and uh, capitals is what I call them. The, oh, God. The uh, big name, the big worded... Uh, places these are what i like to call capitals it's the only places that trade can go through guys i mean the farmers and the castles just kind of receive merchandise they actually have a market in the big capital so that makes them very handy i think he might be hiding in the castle we're going to try to sneak over here hopefully no rodox wanna so they just basically want to wipe the Swadians off the face of uh, Calradia. So he's in there by himself. They're under siege. Bloody hell. The only way we're going to get to speak to him is if we actually go into this siege. In doing so, guys, you can see all the num enemy numbers over here. We will probably get imprisoned ourselves if we do that. Damn. So, 
I mean, none of his lords are coming to his aid. I mean, this has been the Swadians' problem this whole run, uh, this particular file, is they just won't unite under the same banner. Even though they serve under him, they, they just kind of stick to their own uh, their own grievances. Like, I've lost a few castles now that just no, none, of, none of the other lords in the faction would help me out with. Kind of want to see where this is going to go. I don't know how far they are at jumping. In. You know what? We're just going to, because I don't want to. We should be able to get in and then get out before they siege the place. Like, I think we beat that act anyways. Hello, king. Good to see you, Lord Marcus. Yes. Now, we're up to 38 in favoritism with him. He's congratulating us on a battle well done. If you pull up your right trigger guy, this is on Xbox One, by the way. Um, he's supportive of us. We're at 38 with him. I think you can go, I think you can exceed 100. I'm not positively sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But I, I know you can just keep going up and up, basically. Um, so he's supportive of us. But unfortunately, that's not the video. what the video is about. We're going to succeed from his faction. So, my lord, I wish to be released from your oath is what you want to ask him. He's going to get mad about it. Hmm, has your oath become... Uh, burdensome, Lord Marcus, is it unusual to request from home, uh, homage, but in respect of your fine service, I will not hold you truly, I will not hold it, I will not hold you if you truly wish to end it, though you would be sorely missed. So he's liked us enough to where he's not going to get mad about it. It is something I must do, my lord. Okay, then you are sure. Also be aware that if you leave my services, you will be surrendering to me all the fiefs. Uh, which you hold in your name. And that's basically just all the territory he's talking about, guys. I'm going to go ahead and agree to that. Thank you, sir. It's been an honor to serve underneath you. He says likewise, basically. Our likeness with him went down extremely to 18, but we're still welcoming. He still likes us. He's just a little butt hurt now. So we are no longer in the Swadian faction, guys, which is just as good all as well because they are just getting ready to get wiped out completely. Um, which is really bad news for him because all the other lords can go serve under another king. I don't know what happens, honestly, to the king's guys. Once your faction's wiped out, I think you're just permanently just wiped off of the out of the game. Basically, there's no coming back from that. So that sucks for the kings of Calradia, which we're aspiring to be ourselves. So we are a free agent right now. We still should be, and no, we are not actually. Um, the Rodox are not aggressive with us anymore because we broke off the faction. I thought they still held the grudge for a little while. Um, it wasn't a immediate thing, but man, they are, they are just going to tear into them. Ah, uh, not to get sidetracked though, guys. So our plan now is we're going to come over here to Nudar. Now I've already been whooping on the Nords pretty good. <laughs> I've taken their king on and many of their lords and kind of pushed them away. Unfortunately, they got the better of me. This used to be my castle, guys, Nudar Castle. I, I sieged this one by myself, by my onesies, with less than 100 men. And they had, obviously, less than 100 men in there. But still all the same, that's quite the challenge when you're actually taking a castle versus fighting somebody on the battlefield, especially in my sense, because I like to use a lot of cavalry. And I would rather meet them on the battlefield for obvious reasons than, say, in a castle or a capital. So we're just going to scoot on over here. We shouldn't have anything to worry about. And before we... Okay, still the Nords. It looked a little white like it might have been owned by the Vigors. We're going to go down through here. Our two named are almost fully healed. By the time we build the ramp or what have you to actually siege this thing, we ought to be... Uh, well healed by then. We're going to go infantry just for the simple fact that we're trying to siege a castle at this point. You have to take kind of a different approach from on the battlefield versus actually sieging a castle. And also, I wanted to check one more thing, guys. Make sure that we had enough food to actually pull this siege off. And it's looking like the answer is maybe not. So we're going to scoot over here real quick now to Reviden. And we're going to grab some more food real quick and also maybe sell all this garbage that we don't need. All right. Uh, we 
got a pair of boots up there. That's okay. We'll just come back down to it. So having a hundred men under your under your command uh, consumes a lot of food and money, guys. Like your your bill just to pay for their services is going to be quite expensive. That should be good enough. We walked away still with a thousand dollars. All right, now we're going to hop back over here to Nudar while they're still vulnerable. Now, granted, all their stuff, guys, is way over here. They're kind of tucked in a corner. They've been getting it handed to them pretty good, too, as well. I think they're the, probably going to be the next faction out, which is just going to uh, benefit us more if we can pull this off. So we're going to come back over here to Nudar. I'm not too concerned about anybody intervening with us. It is a possibility they could all just fly right over here and ruin my day. Request to speak to somebody. Request entry. That is what I forgot we have to do, guys. We're not at war with the Nords right now. So, this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> just for video's sake, and I can always... Well... See, they already don't like us a lot. <laughs> but see, there are town to our there are Fife or our town to this castle, so we'd benefit a lot if they liked us. So what we're gonna do is go scout out a Nord Lord. Who are you? Ah, beautiful thing. If we can just get to him before he goes into that castle, don't go into the castle, sir. Thank you. All right, so. Uh, hello. Hi. Welcoming, eh? Well, you're not going to be too welcoming here in just a second. We need to deliver our demands to you, sir. You're going to have to go ahead and uh, suck it and die. Prepare to fight. So this action is just to so we can create warfare with the Nord faction. They're going to be pretty upset with us, but that's okay. Because we're just getting ready to mow these guys right over. They, they have no chance. They literally have no chance. I have 22 sharpshooters, 28 elite cavalry, and it doesn't really matter with the four infantry because my cavalry is going to destroy everything before anybody else has a chance. That's why I love Swadian and Veger Knights, guys. And I, I am not opposed to grabbing uh, Mamelukes as well from the Serenid faction. Uh, I'd have to say I like the Serenid faction a lot, actually. I've never done a playthrough with Serenid faction. Always kind of wanted to. I always stick to my guns, which is the Nords or the Swadians. I just, the preference, the style of their uh, military builds and everything works. So our sharpshooters are just kind of taking shots at their shields and stuff. They get a little closer. We'll start picking at them a little bit. Let's go ahead and advance just once to kind of straighten ourselves out to them. To get just a little closer, we'll go ahead and unleash hell on them with the cavalry. And this battle will probably be over in a matter of minutes. It doesn't really matter what he has. It looks like he might have a lot of Hooskarls or foot, foot soldiers. I'm actually happy about that. Don't get me wrong. Hooskarls are pretty tough opponents, guys. But when it comes to this Swadian Cavalry and Veeger Cavalry, watch what happens. Granted, this is on normal settings, guys. It's not on easy, so... Don't, don't get me wrong, I got my butt literally kicked for the first month, I would say, of gameplay here. Just kind of playing a little bit every day until I got leveled up enough to where uh, it was starting to favor me in battle. I'm just really just swinging and talking, guys. All right, we've already wiped them out. We've got uh, another little set coming. Some reinforcements. Or did we already wipe all those guys out as well? No, okay, I think we're heading towards them now. No? We already wiped them all out. Let's check the board. They've got five guys left. We've already polished off 46 in no time. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing, this cavalry military. It's basically the easy button. And when you're working on getting your own faction, why struggle? I mean, don't get me wrong, we bite off more than we can chew every once in a blue moon, but let's say my hundred guys, elite soldiers, can probably handle mid-ranked up to three, four times the amount of men. 
I've seen it happen. I've done it myself. All right, we pulled that off. Now we're at war with the Nords, and that also... Let's level up a few guys real quick. There's not a lot of advancement right now just because basically we're top tier. But I mean, 22 knights, guys. That's pretty darn good. All right. Back out of that. Conveniently enough, we're already here. And I think our 103 should handle this 67. All right, we're just going to besiege the castle. Prepare the ladders. Ladders don't take as long. It's going to take five hours. It's going to seem like no time at all. It's actually a good thing, really good thing, because it doesn't allow much time for his king and other lords to get to us. So with a little bit of luck, guys, going to go ahead and hold position. Fire at will. Archers advance. And go ahead and start working on uh, their, their line there. We'll let everybody else sit in the back. Let them kind of chew on their archers for a minute. Now, if I can get them to kind of stray their attention away from me, go ahead and whip my crossbow out as well and start working on a few of them. Ooh, I think that went over his head. All right. Now, if you guys don't want to sit through the whole siege, it's only going to take about five minutes. Um, you just don't need to see the visual aid of it all then uh, you can definitely skip through this part and on to the next phase of owning your own faction. All right. We need this castle. We, we do. And we need to not take many losses as well. Seems like it's uh, all us so far. I just want our archers to exhaust themselves. Okay. Oh, okay. I still have an arrow. And then, uh, and then we'll send everybody in for the ground. Oh, you don't have a you don't have a shield, sir. I'm just... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Somebody else bopped him in the head with that. All right. We'll set off a few more. There you go. One more. All right. Go ahead and have everybody charge. We'll go ahead and have our cavalry charge first. I, I hate sending my knights in, but... We'll, we'll mix it up with a few ground troops and uh, archery can support my my knights. Let's do this, guys. It's all us. No other faction. Let's go. You guys got this. They, they weaken the lines already. Smash their shields up with your arrows. They're still going to be sharpshooting at them with extreme precision, guys. Uh, Swadian and Swadian, all the sharpshooting lines actually for all the factions. Once they're top tier, the archers they're they're pretty vicious. I would have to say the two that sticks out the most is probably Vigor marksmen and um, Rodakian uh, sharpshooters. I have a bunch of Swadian sharpshooters. A couple. I got a rainbow actually. I've got some Vigor in there too. All right, guys, let's move the line. Push, push through. How many? They are down to 30. They've already taken 36. We've only got three deaths so far. Far superior we are. I think they just kind of dumped 60 men in here real quick after they took the place. Um, just to, in hopes that they'd be able to hold it long enough to reinforce it. Unfortunately, most factions take just way too long doing that. So I'm going to try to squeeze a few in on the enemies. Kind of disrupt them. I think those are all my guys. I'll just shoot that arrow into the sky. We, we are in. All right, what are we up to here? We're up to 58 deaths. They have, what, eight left? Oh, my gosh. It's almost over already. I'll just walk up here like Darth Vader. You know, all of my storm troopers. Let's go, guys. What we got? A couple stray... Oh, a couple stray archers. Yeah. I'm going to try to get a run on. They, they are crazy accurate, though, guys. Like, they will definitely punish you for lowering your shield. All right, they're distracted now. It, it's just a matter of seconds. What do we got? Two left, probably both over here. And I think this completely exhausts their, their army. <clears throat> All right, so we easily mowed them over. We took a, a total of five dead on our side to wounded 66 of the 67 we killed 
And we're going to get four of the five that we lost back. We'll take him as a, as a prisoner. I guess we'll take a little bit of their loot. We're already sitting at 24, almost 25 after we get done cashing this in. Should be about where we're. I think we're sitting at that now. Uh, sire, we have taken Nudar Castle. Who do you wish to give it to? I, I wish to give it to myself because we have nothing yet. All right, you will be the new lord of New Dark Castle. Damn straight I am. You've gained one renown. Uh, now this is the part where... So we are our own faction now, officially, guys. We just became our own faction by taking New Dark Castle. It's going to be left up to... We have our own faction, so I think if we lose this castle, we still have a faction, technically. We just don't have a place to call home. But we're going to try to hold this castle and try to expand. Who do I want to appoint basically as stewardship of this castle? Meaning I can go out on the field. I can come back. I can speak to either Metheld or Artemener. And they will uh, allow me to do certain things. Like I can make certain people lord. I can make lords under my faction. I can make people into lords. And other decisions uh, to kingly to that extent. So that's what this is all about. You need to pick somebody to represent uh, stewardship, basically. And this is what I was going to say is where marriage comes in handy is when you have a companion that you're married into, uh, you can use them to substitute as steward of your, pl of your first place. And then each lord that you hire in, basically it's up to you to bestow a castle or a fife or town, what have you, capital, to uh, each one of them. So we're going to pick, I like Metheld. She's, she's loyal on the field. She's tough. We're going to pick Artemener. I can pick like just a citizen to fill in, but I figured it'd be somebody we know. I don't really need Artemener in my, in my battalion. Uh, what will be the name of your kingdom? Ooh, that's a tough one. Lord, Mark's, Lord Marcus's kingdom. We're just going to go with that. Sounds good enough. As you approach, you are spotted by the castle guards. Okay. As acknowledgement of the, as uh, Lord. All right, Managed Castle. So I can do all of this, guys, on my own free time. So as you can see, we're in red now, Lord Marcus's kingdom. We have one castle, one fife, or one town, what have you. But that is how, guys, you start your own faction 101. Now, to get into the marriage process and all of that other good stuff, I will have it in uh, individual videos. There'll be a marriage process part two coming up soon, guys, which will finish the marriage process, which is pretty self-explanatory in the sense that you just go find somebody, you woo them, you build up a relation through points as you do with your king and other lords and, and everybody else. And when it's time, you just propose the question. And if everything, all the stars are in alignment and such, then you will be granted to marry that person. I think you can also marry one of your companions, or what I like to call as your named soldiers, which is Methald and Artemener. And you can go recruit as many, as far as I know, uh, of those. Uh, there's many out there, like 20, 30 more, maybe, guys. Um, so you can also do that, but we're going to go ahead and end this video here. This is starting your faction 101. Hope this helps you guys. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the video in the comment section, and I will definitely get back to you guys and try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, we'll see you later.